Welcome to worship. Whenever you're playing this video, I hope you know that we are wishing you a Merry Christmas. Call to worship. Rejoice, for, the, for God is with us, Emmanuel. In the darkness of our world shines God's holy light. Now there is a reason to hope, to love, to laugh, to live. God is truly with us. We are not alone. Thanks be to God. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Those who dwelt in the land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. We have beheld Christ's glory, glory as of the only Son from the Father. For to us a child is born. To us, a son is given. In him was life, and the life was the light of all people. May the grace and truth of Christ be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, you made this holy night shine with the brightness of the true light. Grant that here on earth we may walk in the light of Christ's presence. And in the last day, wake to the brightness of his glory through your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.
In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and who was expecting a child. son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. Away in a manger, no crib for his bed. The little Lord Jesus lay down his sweet head. The stars in the sky looked down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. The cattle are lowing, the poor baby wakes. But little Lord Jesus, no crying he makes. I love thee, Lord Jesus, look down from the sky, and stay by my cradle till morning is nigh. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone upon them. And they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel, a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. <laughs>
When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told to them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. Merry Christmas Eve everyone. Today I want to share a new Christmas story that I found. It is called All the Colors of Christmas and it is written by Matthew Paul Turner and illustrated by Jillian Gamble. I hope you enjoy this as part of our Christmas Eve service. Christmas is red. It's a shiny new sled. It's candy canes and toy store lanes. It sprinkles on sweet bread. It's packages with bows and Rudolph's bright red nose. It's pictures drawn and dressed up lawns. It's warm mittens when it snows. 
It's the drummer boy's drum, his parumpa pum pum. It's Santa Claus and cranberry sauce. It's apples, pears, and plums. It's presents that we send to families and to friends. It's jolly cards and merry hearts. Yes, Christmas is red. Christmas is green. It's an evergreen scene. It's holly sprigs and mistletoe twigs. It's emerald lights agleam. It's garland on rails and pine needle trails. It's winter boots and fluffy elf suits. It's that old Mr. Grinch tail. It's Granny Smith pies and plaid bow ties. It's fresh potpourri that smells Christmassy. It's stockings hung high. It's tinsel on trees and grass iced by freeze. It's Christmas tree balls and artwork on walls. Yes, Christmas is green. Christmas is gold, it's bright ribbon unrolled, it's jingling bells and warm yummy smells, it's heirlooms you are not allowed to hold, it's dancers all tapping among holiday trappings, it's nutcracker crowns and Christmas Eve gowns, it's glittery gift wrapping, it's a big turkey roast and walnuts you toast, it's crackling fires and glorious choirs, it's an ornament you love most. It's kids shouting, Behold, wearing halos and robes. It's treetop stars and old church bazaars. Yes, Christmas is gold. Christmas is blue. It's a winter sky's hue. It's flannel sheets and shaped cookie treats. It's a lake frozen through. It's big puffy coats and huge parade floats. It's juniper trees and blue spruce wreaths. It's writing Santa notes. It's a sweater mama knit, stretched yet still fits. It's turquoise lights in the darkest of nights. It's a snowman's outfit. It's memories old and new of loved ones gone too soon. It's an Elvis song and nights growing long. Yes, Christmas is blue. Christmas is white. It's warm candle light. It's mountain tops and small fancy shops. It's turtle doves in flight. It's December snowstorms and blankets so warm. It's angel wings and the song that we sing about our dream for Christmas morn. It's sleigh rides through snow and tea lights that glow. It's North Pole tails and frosty exhales. It's cocoa with marshmallows. It's a star shining bright on the holiest of nights. It's powdered cakes and paper snowflakes. Yes, Christmas is white. Christmas is brown. It's pine cones scattered round. It's caramel corn and copper French horns. It's winter's frozen ground. It's firewood piled high and reindeer that fly. It's cinnamon sweets and gingerbread treats. It's homemade pecan pie. It's a cradle soft with hay and a donkey's gentle bray. It's God within a baby's skin on that very first Christmas day. It's shepherds kneeling down and wise ones gathered round. It's Mary's sigh and Jesus cry. Yes, Christmas is brown. Christmas is you. It's your own unique hue. It's your wondrous gleam and your bedtime dreams. Your color each Christmas anew. It's your tinsel and flair and the gifts that you share. It's your jingling smile and your fa-la-la style. It's how you love and how you care. It's the songs that you sing and the light that you bring. It's your heartfelt compassion and your hope put in action. It's your thrill for the little things. It's your love for what's true. It's the good that you do. You're part of the story, the joy and the glory. Yes, Christmas is you. The end. Merry Christmas! Today is a day to celebrate. Jesus is born of the whole world sing for joy. Finally, the promised Messiah has come. God had promised this day from, from the time of Abraham and Sarah to King David, through Moses and the prophets like Isaiah, then to John the Baptist and the angels. Merry Christmas. Recently, I was talking with some people about vacations. They 
vacations are almost as good as holidays, especially this holiday. We talked about how we all want to go on vacation from COVID. But uh, where are we going to go? It's all around the world. One person claimed that planning a vacation is better than going on vacation. I don't know about that. Another person said that it's the memories of a vacation that are better than a vacation. I don't know about that either. And yet another person said, no, it's the planning and the memories. That's the best. Maybe Christmas is that way for some people. The planning, the preparations, the traditions are great. We love that. We wouldn't keep doing them year after year if we didn't love them. And the memories of Christmas, most memories, hopefully are wonderful. But nothing is like Jesus. Christmas is about Jesus. We find different ways to express it, but Christmas is about Jesus. If it isn't about Jesus, it might feel a little empty and superficial. Or we might think, oh, it's just for the kids. Kids do have a lot of fun at Christmas. It is a powerful Christmas tradition. There is a powerful Christmas tradition. But as good as that is, I hope they remember that Christmas is about Jesus. I know the last time I talked about talked to Santa about this, and I'm not kidding, I was talking to Santa. He happens to go to our church. Uh, the last time I talked to Santa, he told me that all the work that he does for the kids is about Jesus. Today is the best, I mean Christmas, because Jesus is born. The promise of God fulfilled. God promised Abraham and Sarah. He would bless them, and in blessing them, he would bless the whole world. God promised King David. One of his sons would be on, his, on the throne forever. Jesus is that son of David. The promise is fulfilled. God had worked so hard to reconcile us after Abraham, uh, after Adam and Eve. The job was completed through Jesus. Everybody loves babies. Babies hold such excitement, anticipation, and promise. Babies aren't just promise. I mean, I'm sorry, baby Jesus is not just promise. Jesus is fulfillment. However, however you can celebrate Jesus' birthday this year, go all out. You might start to slip into, oh, I wish we could do it the way we always have done it in the past. Let's not fall into that. Let's do Christmas this year the best we can. Remember, it's still Jesus' birthday, no matter what. Jesus still sent his son into this world because he loves us, whether there is a pandemic or not. We can do the best we can. We can Zoom it, we can FaceTime it, we can mask it, Keep your distance. Do it any way that you can. Next year, we can do Christmas the way we've always done it. Maybe masks will be a real must for any Christmas gatherings in the future. But I wouldn't count on it. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Jesus. And Merry Christmas.
The familiar story of your birth comes to us newly every year, O Lord. Awaken your light within us, that it might shine through us to all with whom we interact. Emmanuel, hear our prayer. In the celebration and excitement, may we seek out quiet moments where we can ponder the gift of your Son. Emmanuel, hear our prayer. As animals made way for a baby's bed, so creation graciously shares this planet with us. Make us responsible occupants and faithful stewards of the earth. Emmanuel, hear our prayer. Bless all who suffer with loneliness, illness, or other difficulties on this night. Give your spirit a healing presence to all who need it, especially those we list in our hearts. Emmanuel, hear our prayer. For all who are mourning the loss of loved ones this holiday season, we pray for your comfort. Assure them of your promise that all will be united in your eternal kingdom. Emmanuel, hear our prayer. Our eyes await the fulfillment of all your promises, the answer to all of our prayers. Your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. Amen. In the night in which our Lord was betrayed, he took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. For as often as we eat this bread and we drink this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The body of Christ, broken for you. The blood of Christ, shed for you. body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen us and keep us in his grace. Let us pray. Emmanuel, God with us, you grace us with life and breath, and give us bread for the journey. Send us out in your service to, to, into this world that you love, telling the amazing news of your coming to be Savior and Lord of all. Amen.
May you be filled with the wonder of Mary, the obedience of Joseph, the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the determination of the Magi, and the peace of the Christ child. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you now and forever. Amen. Go in peace, share the joy of Christ. Thanks be to God.